Good morning. What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another Hawes Capital video. Uh, today's video, what we're going to be talking about kind of goes along with many of the other themes we've been doing, um, you know, participating in Web 3.0 opportunities uh, that are presenting themselves on different networks. Um, we've been doing a lot of different domain names. And remember, a lot of these domain names and uh, uh, human readable addresses that we're able to buy on these different protocols also double as NFTs and can be resold. So there's an entire market for it. We've seen it on Cosmos, uh, you know, Luna, uh, what's the most recent one on um, the what was the other one we did? The Ether name services. Uh, there are a couple of them that exist out there, guys. Uh, and more and more blockchains are starting to offer these opportunities. Now, again, some of these could lead to possible airdrops, as we've seen in the past. Uh, so, you know, that could be one reason to follow along in this video and, you know, complete the steps. Uh, the other reason to follow along, if, uh, you know, you actually utilize crypto on a daily basis and you do a lot of transactions, it's just easier to send and receive money to yourself or telling someone to send you money to Hawes Capital rather than JPXYWD, whatever the hell those long addresses are, right? So let's go ahead, let's jump into this opportunity that we're talking about. Um, and this one is going to be on the Solano blockchain. Now, uh, you know, Solana has been going through a lot of issues just this week alone. I've dropped two articles in the room for you guys highlighting um, you know, the attacks going on the networks, they continuously keep freezing and stopping the network. That just seems like a major issue to me uh, and a major concern uh, for Solano going through these issues where you're not seeing that. Like, I don't hear about these attacks and these network freezes on Cosmos, on Avalanche. Um, I haven't heard about them freezing the Bitcoin network and Ethereum networks and things like that uh, to reset them. Uh, but again, it's still early. Uh, I know Solano's got a lot of venture capital money backed behind it. So, you know, while they take the time to figure it out, uh, we'll see. But in the meantime, I do utilize Solano a lot. I do a lot of DeFi and Solano in the Mango markets and uh, Step Protocol and the different ones that I've shown you to use. Um, and I have a couple of Solano addresses. So for me, registering a domain name just seems like the smart thing to do. Airdrop or no airdrop, I actually need this. All right. I prefer to tell someone to send the money to Hawes Cap at whatever over giving those long addresses. Now, a couple of things are a little bit different about uh, doing the Solano addresses, uh, unlike the other ones. Uh, previously before where I've shown you how to get like the Luna name service and the Cosmos ones, all you have to do is search for your name, buy it, and that's the end of it. You own it outright and that's it. No questions asked. With the Solano name services, it's a little bit different where you have to register the domain and there, and your name that you register has to go through a 48 hour auction period. Uh, and the reason it goes through this auction period is because they, Solano attempted to do uh, make fairness so people can't squat on the names. So what do I mean by that? Remember, a lot of these NFT, a lot of these domain names are act as NFTs. All right. So you have people who have strategies where they just go out and buy McDonald's.Soul, Burger King.Soul. Uh, they get famous people names. Dot soul. A lot of people know Snoop Dogg um, is huge in the NFT space. So I know there are people who go out and try to find Snoop Dogg. But what I have found is most of those unique names are already um, securely registered for, you know, those people. So you might have a hard time going in and getting Apple.Soul and different things like that. But what Solano is trying to prevent is people going in early, early adopters like ourselves, going in, buying in all the good domain names and then sitting on them and charging outrageous prices. So they give a fair opportunity for anyone to come in and bid on the name, even the name you choose to register on, all right? So it's very simple to go ahead and uh, register a domain. Uh, like this one, you can see right here, whoever registered, uh, you know, this is gentleman.soul. They have a couple of, uh, they got like an hour and some change left uh, before it is oh, the auction ends. Now, when you do these auctions, <clears throat> if you place a bid within like the last couple of minutes, it resets the clock for at least, I think it's another 10 or 20 minutes, just so no one can't go in there like last minute, watch the clock and hit the bid at three seconds and then win the bid like that. So again, they're just trying to make it fair. Uh, 
I think that's pretty cool that they're doing that, you know, um, you know, so not not too bad. So let's go ahead. Let's look about registering a domain name. As you can see, there are a couple of different domains that people are trying to register right here. Uh, these dot souls and you can see to bid. <clears throat> You will need to pay in FIDA on uh, the bond FIDA token to pay for your your transaction. Now, if you don't have any of this token and you don't know how to get it, I've shown you previously before how to go ahead and use the Ray Dex, uh, the Serum Dexes, and all the different DeFi protocols uh, that Solano offers. One thing I will tell you: if you are located in the United States of America and you want to access most anything on Sol as far as DeFi, you will need a VPN. Uh, for the most part, if you come to Bone Feed, I believe, without the VPN turned on, it will tell you, unfortunately, you're not able to use it because of your jurisdiction, IP address, and all those other things. Uh, the same thing with the Serum Dex. So my recommendation to you guys, make sure your VPN is on when you're coming to do this. Um, and you can just, oh man, did my mouse just die? Yes, it did. How crazy is that? All right, let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Champions adjust. Where is our other backup mouse that we have? There we go. All right, back in business. See guys, champions adjust, man. We don't we don't panic over here about nothing. Market selling, we don't panic. We look for opportunity. All right. So again, make sure you have your uh, VPN on if you're going to go ahead and um, need to get the bond FIDA token. Uh, and again, it's right here, FIDA, right there. As you can see, I have like one left uh, from the auction that I've already done. So cool. Now let's say we wanted to go ahead and we wanted to try to find, um, so I wanted to go ahead and get my name. Let's say I wanna go ahead and get my name and try to find my name on here, all right? So we'll search for my name. It lets me know my name is available no one has attempted to bid on my name yet and take mine yet so we'll see uh if someone tries to outbid me for my own name uh but if, again if it does it doesn't matter i've already secured the actual domain name that i wanted to uh and for the purpose of this video i'm just here showing you this so once you have the name that you want you'll come over here to register domain once you hit register it gives you all the information it tells you of course now while you're doing your bid guys if you don't win the bid you can get your 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 tokens back your feet are back so it's not like your feet is lost and uh also if someone outbids you you can take your feet back and rebid that again so uh don't think that you're putting these bids in and your funds are just going to be out of here gone so you start the auction uh, it lets you know what the starting price is, is 7.52 for anyone who wants to go ahead and bid on this one. They'll have to outbid and they'll have to bid 8 or 7.6 or whatever it is <clears throat> if they decide to go ahead and move forward. All you do is hit confirm, open the transaction to approve the transaction. Uh, of course, it's going to cost you a little bit of soul and fees uh, to go ahead and do so. You would just hit approve. I don't have enough FIDA in there right now, so I'm not going to do that. I'll go back and add the FIDA and then do it uh, because, oh, well, I, you know what? Let me run through it just so you guys can see um, on this thing. So we'll go ahead. We'll hit approve on there. Um, and then once you do, it will create the auction and you still have to go bid. So what I did is here is I created the auction. I registered the name Shane Hawes on here, dot soul, um, and the starting price is 7.52. Now what happens is I'll have to go back and I'll have to go ahead and place that bid of 7.52. So that way I'm actually bidding on there. If you guys just register the name and you don't actually bid on it, you will not win um, your name. It's telling me that there's an error. All right, so see, there you go, auction, is right there it lets you know your auction will end in two days all right we get it it's telling me that there's a error but there's not now all i would have to do if i want this name guys just come over here i'd bid however many um feeder i need to go ahead and get hit submit and that would be the end of that guys but i got 48 hours i'll go ahead and buy some more feeder over here on ray and figure out what token i want to swap uh out and get some more feeder to go ahead and bid on that <clears throat> but guys that's really it um, and then again, it works the same way like all the other domain name services that are out there. Uh, if you want to go ahead and you want to see, um, you know, different ones that exist, you can scroll through, you can see all the ones where people are bidding uh, as this one right here. Someone's kind of bidding that one up right now. You can see some of these go pretty high. Uh, you know, some people are trying to run a few of these things up right now 
on some of these. Some of these, you can get real creative with them. Emojis, if you just want to make a little emoji one. Um, you know, cool opportunities, guys. You know, chef.soul, that's pretty cool right there. Uh, someone trying to bid that one up. So again, if you uh, want to go ahead and you want to do the bids, you can do that. If you think that you might be interested in a Solano uh, name service opportunity, I know I wanted one uh, for my Phantom wallet. I got two Phantom wallets. So again, I'll go back and I'll pay for my Shane Hawes one uh, later on. Um, but again, guys, hopefully this video was helpful. Just wanted to present you guys some opportunities on some things you can do. Uh, I, while markets are down and markets are red, you should not be looking at your portfolios every day. It will give you guys anxiety. It might cause you guys to panic sell some things. You don't need to panic sell. Um, while you should be actually looking for opportunity to buy. So let's stay busy, guys. I dropped more videos in the room for you guys today so you can stay busy uh, playing around with different networks and um, you know joining some different opportunities right there. Hopefully this video was helpful, guys. Um, hopefully you all go out and go get your soul, especially if you're big on the soul blockchain and you think Solano's got a bright future, you may want to secure a couple of names for yourself. I'll catch you guys on the next video.